Hi, good morning, my dear students. I'm Daphne Kaur. Welcome to my discussions. In my last video, we already discussed about the chemical equilibrium. Therefore, in this video, we will going to discuss about the topic of ionic equilibrium. In chemical equilibrium, we study reactions involving the molecule only. But in ionic equilibrium, we will study reversible reactions involving the formations of ions in the water. The equilibrium between ions and an ionized molecule in the solution is called ionic equilibrium. You are going to study how to calculate the pH of strong acid or weak acid solutions. However, in this video, we will focus on how to calculate the pH of strong acid or strong base solutions. Now, let's go to the first part, the strength of acid and bases. My dear student, if you're referring to the STPM syllabus, you need to study how to calculate the pH value of strong acid or strong bases and weak acid or weak bases. So in this video, we will focus on how to calculate the pH value of strong acid or strong bases. I will discuss with you how to calculate the pH value of weak acid or weak bases in my next video. Before we go to the part of calculating the pH value, let's go and study about the strength of acids and bases first. Acids and bases can be stronger or weak depending on the extent of ionizations in solutions. So, if the acid or base conduct electricity strongly, that means it is strong acid or strong base. Beside the molecular formula, the strength of acids and bases can be compared in terms of degree of dissociations and acid-base dissociations constant. Always bear in mind that strong acid has no Ka value and the strong base has no Kb value. Ka is most often associated with weak acid or acid that do not completely dissociate in solutions. Here are some examples of strong acid and strong bases. Now, let's go to the part of calculating of the pH value of strong acid or strong base. As we know, substances can be classified as acidic, basic or neutral. But how do we determine whether a solution is acidic or basic? Of course, it can be tested with the help of litmus paper, phenolphthalein, or other indicators. For more accurately, the best way is to determine the pH value of the solutions. Both acids and bases can be measured using the pH or pOH scale. Both scales provide a measure of either the hydrogen ions concentrations or the hydroxide ions concentrations. So, the amount of hydrogen ion in an acidic solution can be expressed in terms of pH negative log of hydrogen ion concentrations. While the amount of hydroxide ions in a basic solution can be expressed in terms of pOH, which is equal to negative log of hydroxide ion concentrations. Both acids and bases can be measured using the pH or pOH. So, it will be better if we combine the two skills into one. To do this, we need to know the relationship between pH and pOH in an aqueous solution. Lastly, to determine the pH value of the solutions, we can use this formula. As a conclusion, we can use these two formula to calculate the pH value of strong base and strong acid. Some of the students may confuse about the formula here. To determine the pH value for both cases, either strong acid or weak acid, we can use this formula. We can use this formula directly in the case involving strong acid or strong base. This is because the strong acids and strong bases are completely ionized in solutions. Therefore, for strong acids, the pH is directly related to its concentrations. 
However, for weak acids, this is not true as the pH depends on the dissociation's constant, Ka. Therefore, we need to use obvious dilution law to determine the concentrations of ions in the weak acid solutions first before we use the pH formula. I will discuss again about this part in my next video. Next, we will look at questions 1 where the concentration of strong acid is given and we will work through how to calculate the pH for this strong acids. To answer questions 1a, we need to use this formula. Since hydrochloric acid is a strong monobasic acid and it is dissociated completely in the solutions, so the mole ratio of the strong acid and the concentrations of the hydrogen ions is 1 to 1. From the questions, the concentrations of hydrochloric acid solutions is 0.05 molality. Therefore, the concentrations of hydrogen ions in the solutions also 0.05 molality. Now, the concentrations of the hydrogen ion has been identified. We just need to plug it into the pH formula. Therefore, the pH of 0.05 molality hydrochloric acid is 1.5. Next, questions 1b. We need to find the pH of a 0.03 molality solutions of sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is a strong diprotic acid which is ionized completely in the solution. For each mole of sulfuric acid, there are two moles of hydrogen ions. By referring to the equations for the dissociations of the sulfuric acid, the mole ratio of the sulfuric acid and hydrogen ion is 1 to 2. So, the concentrations of hydrogen ion is double the concentrations of the sulfuric acid. After we identified the concentrations of the hydrogen ion, we just need to plug it into the pH formula to determine the pH value of the sulfuric acid. Now, we will look at the questions that will show how to calculate the pH of a strong base solutions which is dissociate completely in water because this is a basic solution we have to calculate pOH first since sodium hydroxide solutions will dissociate completely in water this means that the concentrations of the sodium hydroxide solutions will be equal to the concentrations of hydroxide ions after the reactions runs to completions since we know the concentrations of hydroxide solutions and we can using the following formula to determine the value of pOH after that plug the pOH value into the following equations lastly the pH value of the 0.02 molality solutions of sodium hydroxide is equal to 12.3